do at six tonight. We're sitting down to talk to Colonel Christopher Callahan for the first time since he was appointed to lead the Rhode Island National Guard. Now, he hasn't been sworn in yet as adjutant general, but is acknowledging an increase in security at military recruiting centers here in the wake of the deadly shootings in Chattanooga, Tennessee. From the Providence Global Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is in the capital city. After the deadly shooting in Tennessee, many military recruiting centers, including this one here on Waybosset Street, are on heightened alert. Flags in Rhode Island are flying at half staff this week in honor of the five military members killed after a shooting rampage at two military facilities in Chattanooga. The governors of Rhode Island and other states now taking steps to try and prevent something similar from happening again. As the incoming adjutant general, I'm responsible for all of our overall security. Christopher Callahan from the Rhode Island National Guard says the governor has ordered him to make sure all the state's National Guard facilities, including recruiting centers, are safe. He says security is up, but he wouldn't say how. The specifics of our security posture are, you know, what we, we keep internal so as to ensure that the security postures work. 24-year-old Mohammed Yusuf Abdulaziz died by police gunfire after officers say he shot and killed four Marines at a military recruiting center and Navy support facility on July 16th. A fifth person, a Navy sailor, died a few days later. The motive is still unclear. It's very heart, like wrenching, um, hurtful. Johnson and Wales student Greg Howley has been to the Providence Recruiting Center. He says extra security is needed. You know, protect the people who are protecting us. I asked the incoming adjutant general how long the increased security measures will last. He said as long as they need to. In Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.